Hello, I'm Carrie from the Weston Ranch Library and welcome to your own DIY book stack crate. Here are the supplies that you'll need. I have a crate from the dollar store and Apple Barrel Kelly Green Paint from Hobby Lobby. I believe that that is about $1.29 at Hobby Lobby. I'm just brushing the paint on. It's going to cover all four sides and the top. This particular project will have the crate with the open part face down. You can use a sponge brush if that'll be faster for you. Whatever you have on hand. Today I'm making a leprechaun St. Patrick's Day sort of uh, theme craft. The sides you can leave uh, natural if you'd like so that we the lines on the book, the fake book show up better. I'm also showing you the beads here. I'm using fifth, two 15 millimeter ones and five 11 millimeter ones. And those are to make a little beaded, oh, what do they call them? Hangy thingies? <laughs> That's all the rage right now. You'll see it a lot in farmhouse and shabby sheet crafts. And I thought it'd be fun to make one today. So as I was saying, the ends you can leave natural or you can go ahead and paint. I'm going to paint because my ribbon is going to cover up most of it. But if you use like say um, some twine or a thinner ribbon, you might want to go ahead and uh, draw the lines a little bit more pronounced. It's totally up to you. You can use a pencil and play with it a little bit. And if you don't like it, you can always erase it and then just paint over it, which I love. <laughs> And so today I wanted to try the, the baby wipe method that I've been seeing everyone use. So I'm going to brush on some of the Kelly Green. And then I'm going to add some Limeade. It's Apple Barrel Limeade. Got it also at Hobby Lobby. And I'm brushing that on. And I'm going to try the baby wipe to kind of see how it looks this way. And basically... You want to wipe it and it kind of blends the color in and it also shows the natural kind of lines that are in the natural um, bead color. So it looks pretty interesting. Now I'm just going to dip it in both colors and rub it on and I really like that too. It just really gives it a pretty color. So to me it kind of looked like little green planets. <laughs> so, but you don't have to do this. If you want, you can do all one color. You can leave them natural, whatever you like. I just wanted to show you this. I'm also going to take some of the limeade and I'm going to rub it with the baby wipe all over the box or the crate to see how I like it. I like the top a lot. It looked pretty. The sides are more rough. These crates sometimes come pretty rough. You can um, always sand them down to get a little bit smoother edge because you'll see that it picked up some of the limeade where it wasn't as smooth and so I just kept wiping I go back in and I add a little bit of the darker color um, off camera so that way because it was a little too green for my taste but I really like the top how it just really blended um, together now this is the buffalo check ribbon I believe I purchased it at the dollar store and these are flowers that the dollar store sells you can get any sort of floral these are little clovers that they sell in a bag glitter clovers and they also sell a bag of the fake gold coins these are black stamp pad it comes in a set of four from dollar general and these are letter stamps stamping is all the rage right now in crafting so I thought I'd try it as well right now I'm doing lines on the side to make it look like a book so you will see I started with the uh, grooved the two grooved edges as my starting point and I made lines and then I'm just kind of adding it as I go and do that to both sides 
As you'll see, the ribbon pretty much covers it. That's what I was talking about before. So it's not important that it's perfect. And if you don't like the thick ribbon, you can use the twine. Uh, you can use a thinner ribbon or you don't even have to put a ribbon at all. I like how it kind of covers the ends. There, the holes in the ends. So now I'm just measuring cutting and then I'll hot glue the ribbon on the inside this ribbon is pretty thin so you don't want to hot glue directly onto the ribbon it will make it look unattractive so try to do it try to pull it as taut as possible and then hot glue it underneath now I am taking the twine and I'm making a knot at the bottom so I can string the beads on I put the two larger beads first and then the medium sized beads. Um, you can do it however you'd like though. It is dollar store twine so when I start to put it through the bead I noticed I had to cut off the end to get it to fit better. It started to fray so just be aware of that. Once I'm done stringing on the beads, I will glue this along with the flowers to the top. And I decided I would put a four leaf clover at the end of the beads. However, if you find a little cute uh, little sign or something, you can go ahead and add that. This just happened to come in a little bag from the dollar store. That had the four leaf clovers and little, um, I think they're little maybe flowers that go with it. I don't know, they're just green and glittery and cute. So here I am gluing inside. These little finger covers are awesome. They also came from the dollar store. I constantly am burning myself with the hot glue gun, and these do help a whole lot to hold it down. The glue doesn't stick until it's dry, so it is important to get it, the ribbon down onto the glue and then let it dry. I'm pulling it as taut as possible so that way there's no um, gaps in between the box and the ribbon. You want it to try to lay down as much as possible. There we go. Now I'm just going to glue the other stuff on top. The reason I'm doing this first is I found when I was stamping, I w if I stamp first and then I tried to glue and decorate things, I was smudging the ink. So just be aware the ink is very wet and it does take time to dry. You can use a blow dryer or a heat gun if you have that. I'm just putting... Um, Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm starting from the last letter to the first, so that way I can make sure I have enough room. I'm starting on the uh, far side, the far, that would be your left side, my right side. And I'm not, I'm kind of staggering the letters so they look a little bit more cutesy, but if you'd like to get a ruler and just make sure they're straight, uh, that is, another option for you. I got these at Dollar General. I believe they were $3.50 for a pack of letters and the stamp pads came in a pack of four and I believe those were $2.50. So check out your local craft store or Dollar General. You can pretty much put anything that you like. Um, lucky charm. There's lots of different sayings online that you could find. I 
I've seen people use different stencils. Dollar Store does sell some really cute stencils. Or if you want to print them on your Cricut or Silhouette, that's another option. Uh, you can even print the letters on there or even stencil the letters on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and hot glue the beads to the box. I'm sure there's an easier way, but this is the way I decided to do it so it would stay a little bit better. Looking back on it, I think that maybe the beads are a little bit too long for the box, but they're still cute. So you might want to just use maybe two large ones and four medium ones. Um, just depends on whatever works for you. So once this is all hot glued on here, almost done I'm going to add that four leaf clover to the bottom like I said you can find a little they have little tiny signs you can make something you could leave it like that if you like I just thought it would be cute to add a little four leaf clover and let that dry and then I decided to add some of those um, fake gold coins just for some little extra character. And that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did do this or a variation, please do post it. I do love to see when other people do crafts. It is so much fun, so relaxing to me.